What is going on you beautiful people? Welcome back to another video. In this video today, I'm going to be showing you how to get crew members and what they do and you're basically to how to make the best decisions in doing so and how to assign them. Kevin Kazmir, welcome to the Death Squad Amigo. If you subscribe while I'm making a video, I'll make sure I give you a shout out. So guys, without further ado, if you're hiring, I could really use the work. But be careful like this guy. Listen to their prologue when they start talking to you because this guy, Gideon Acker, at the top right, you can see what skills that he's capable of bringing to your ship. So in this case, he has ballistic weapon systems and missile weapon systems. So he's going to upgrade that for me without me even having to have that talent. But he did say that he did have debts. And in this case, at the bottom, I'm going to have to ask him what debts he's got just so we don't get bombarded with enemies. Make sure you do this as well. Otherwise, if you're not too interested in knowing their story, their backstory, just go ahead and say I'm interested and then they'll be on board for you. But without further ado, let's jump straight into it. The kind that need to be paid off quickly, or else I'm in big trouble. And if you don't mind, I'd kind of like to keep the details of that to myself. Unless you're agreeing to hire me, of course. Mmm, look at the smile he's got. Guys, the only way you can really figure this one out is you can say I'm interested, but make sure before you hire somebody like this that you go ahead and save your game before, just in case he messes up your whole situation. So if I click I'm, I'm interested, much. Just my fair share. so I can pay him, I've got to pay each crew member a set amount of money. In this case, this guy wants 6500 to be uh, hired, and, or you can persuade to try and reduce that cost. You're asking me to work for less than the going rate? Why would I do that? As you can see, in terms of persuading to persuade a person, you need to make successful choices. Choices can range from kind words to distractions to threats. Each choice has a difficulty. The higher the difficulty, the greater the chance the choice fails. But the more points you earn when you succeed. You have a limited number of choices you can make, but you can never fail if your last choice succeeded. Guys, you can always level up your persuasion. Leveling up your persuasion obviously makes it so you can get ahead with these a little bit quicker. Look, he's showing them ag aggression on his face because he don't like what I said to him. But I'm going to go straight down the middle and put... I'm offering more than just a job. It's an opportunity. Best crew doesn't come cheap. Like, I'm going to go straight down the middle again here. So I don't think you really get it. Let me break it down for you. Enough already. Like, I'm going to say you, that price is too high and you know it. If you don't like it, find someone else to deal with. I can't afford to cut you a deal. I'm sorry. So I failed that persuasion. So I'm going to have to go ahead and either hire or not pay. In this case, I'm going to hire and remember I can reload my save that I'd done before. Really? I, I mean, thanks. Sorry, I'm just used to hearing no. The way he said really basically means that he could have been persuaded, but you're going to need to have your persuasion up a little bit higher to have done that. So what am I going to want him on? I can either put him in an outpost or I can put him on my ship. In this case, I want him on my ship, not my outpost. You're going to have to have outposts with actual... Uh, Habs. If you don't have the Habs on your outposts, then they won't be able to go there. So I've got several outposts, but some that don't even have any buildings, just literally are mining materials. So as soon as you've got the Habs, then you can assign them to that. And obviously, the more Habs you've got and the more bits that you have in your Habs would make it so you could have more crew there. I'm going to put him straight on my ship because he's got ballistic weapon systems, missile weapon systems. That's not going to be any good on my outpost anyway because he's not really capable of doing anything else but shooting. So we'll do that. We'll assign him to the ship. A, assign, done. You can always go ahead and assign them to your other place is after if you do not like where you've signed them so if you've got a new ship as well or you've got a new outpost go ahead and do that and you keep switching them around you see my outpost my current outpost my ships i've got no one apart from this guy now so if i back out thanks for giving me a chance i'm on my way he's off to go to my ship now on the way to my ship i'm going to quickly okay. just talk to him to see if Hello, i can find sir. out what was his issue now i'm going to quickly just say let's trade gear to see okay. if he's got anything on him but don't say i never did anything for you <laughs> so i could buy his clothing no i don't, I don't I'll, I'll pass on that but let me try and find out what he did sure What's going on? Now I'm going to ask, mask if I, mind if I ask how you ended up in debt? Because he did say if I hire him, he'd tell me. I had a smuggling run for the trade authority and badly. Lost my cargo, my ship, and now I owe them big time. I'm completely broke. But the trade authority won't stop hounding me until they've collected on the debt. That's why I was begging for work at the viewport. To make matters worse, I have a family back home that's depending on me. If I don't work, you don't need to. So in that situation, that's not too bad. And this might also actually get me into talking to the trade authority. I'd need to know how much that debt is though so let me uh just go ahead and get get the questions out a bit further find out exactly how much he's owed According or he to the owes official profile the trade authority promote free trade and provide economic stability across the galaxy the truth is they run the largest contraband network in the settled system <sighs> mech parts biotech drugs nothing's off limits and they do business with anybody even the crimson fleet see now that doesn't have to be a bad conversation because at the end of the day if they have their hands in every single pie then in theory, that gives me one step closer to getting my hands in all these pies because that's what I want. The ultimate goal is to be able to have access to everything. And this is a clear route into it. He's just, he's got a 
debt. Now, let's still try and dig a bit deeper and find out what that debt is. Like I said, looking at the se second dialogue, I'll keep that in mind. A trade authority contact might come in handy someday. That is exactly what my thoughts were because, yet again, having that contact, we might be able to do so much in this game or even more than we've already got. And let me try and find out what cargo he smuggled. Whatever they stuck in my hole. I didn't ask a lot of questions. Figured the less I knew about what I was involved in, the better. See, that's not a bad answer because now I know he's not actually a bad person. But now I'm going to ask not the kind of people you want to end up debt to to see what they are about. Now you're catching on. They've been all over me since I got into debt with them. And I get the feeling they aren't afraid of firing a couple bullets to get what they want. Okay, so he's basically saying they will shoot at us. Let's uh, find out what the UC government are saying. Boss, when I said the trade authority did business with everybody, I meant everybody. UC government included. But you didn't hear that from me. Okay, so they're just bad people. I need to wait until I uh, come across them. So right now, in terms of this, I'm taking a big gamble. Because uh, by the time I've probably bumped into them with him, it's going to be too late. And I'm probably um, I'm just going to have to suck up with the consequences, either killing them or paying them. So, I actually like this guy. He seems quite genuine, quite honest. Uh, and then I'm just going to quickly click uh, on this one. Maybe. I wouldn't do business with them again if I had a say. But each their own. So, he's given me his own personal opinion whether he'd do business with them or not. But this is a good question here. How did you lose all that cargo for the trade authority? My ship got hit by a group of spacers while I was hauling a shipload of goods from Neon to New Atlantis. So, that's not bad. I shot out my engines, boarded my ship, and held me at gunpoint while they took their pick of my cargo hold. I'm lucky my engines were the only thing they were interested in pumping full of bullets. You never know with spacers. See, I'm not bad with I'm not mad with that answer. That answer was pretty good. Ha ha ha. This is a good question. The second one, I thought you were a weapons expert. Could you fight them off or couldn't? I'm a broke weapons expert, boss. My ship wasn't exactly top of the line. All the weapons experience in the world doesn't mean squat if your enemies got bigger guns. And those spacers had really big guns. Okay, fair enough. Now this is a good question. How did he get back to New Atlantis? Because in theory, he had busted engine. Some vanguards who were on duty heard my distress signal. They picked me up and gave me a tow. Honestly, it might be for the best that those spacers emptied my cargo hold. I would have been in hot water if the vanguard caught me with contraband. Most of them take their jobs real seriously. Right, so let's find out why they targeted him. Like I just said, Skipper, you never know with spacers. For all I know, they might have followed me all the way from Neon. Fair enough. Now I need to dig a little bit deeper and find out what happened with the cargo. Whether I'm sure the trade authority was thrilled to hear about that is not going to be the one. I want to know why they didn't protect him. If they do, I never heard about it. I guess they don't like making enemies. Okay, so they obviously don't, uh, because they've got their fingers in all pies and they trade with everyone, they don't want to get involved. So let's just see what they said after they were thrilled to hear about it. Yeah, not exactly. They really raked me over the coals. Whatever I was carrying must have been real value. Once they verified that all the cargo was gone, they made me sell my ship to put a dent in the credits I owed them. It didn't matter to them that I couldn't work without a ship. They don't go in for sob stories. So he sold his ship and only put a dent in it. A ship on this game starts at 100k, so how much is he in debt? And here I thought it was my natural charm that won you over. Let's find out what it was about his family. Not much to tell, really. I have a wife, name's Kalinda, and three kids back home on New Atlantis. They're all crammed into a one room in the well. We couldn't afford better. Kalinda's construction job barely kept the lights on. That's why I started doing runs for the trade authority. Seemed like it could be my big break. That didn't go as bad. Okay, now we need to find out how we can answer that. This is a good question. Would he do things differently if he had the chance? <laughs> Yeah, in hindsight, I don't think getting into business with the trade authority was my brightest idea. If I could do things over, I'd go legit. I'm a long hauler for a company in New Atlantis or something. Fair enough. It's a good, good answer yet again. Let me ask what the well is, because he's got a house there. It's the lower class district of New Atlantis. Pretty rough down there. Not the kind of place you want to raise a family. Oh, I want to see Lynn this. and I want to move somewhere else more than anything. Let me ask how old his kids are. Bella's nine, Lindsay's seven, and little Hallie's only three. All of them look just like their mom. They're such sweet kids. I'm better for them than growing up in the well. Once we're out of debt, the first thing Kalinda and I are going to do is save up for a nicer place. He seems like a really genuine guy, like he didn't actually mean any of this, so... And I don't think he's lying. Let me know in the comments down below if you think he's lying. I don't really want to put dirt in the wound, but I'm going to have to ask. Yeah, Kalinda said the same thing. Neither of us counted on things ending the way they did. That's why I got to get this debt paid off quick. The sooner the trade authorities off my back, the better. Looks like I'm going to be paying this debt, so uh, let me just... Wait, let's see if I can get any more quick answers I out of this. smuggling run for the trade. I'm completely broke. To make matters worse... No, no more answers, so I'm just going to leave All it at right. that and just wait till the trade authority bump into me. I actually want to help this guy. He seems like a nice guy. He got a family and he's trying to make things better. So you know the deal. Guys, anyway, so to get a crew, you'd initially have started at the ship service technician here at New Antlers Port. This ship, as you can see, can hold a 
lot, and I mean a lot of crew. That's why I wanted to make this video, because I'm going ahead and putting a crew on it. So uh, I'm going to show you exactly how I did that. So the first, obviously, hint was talking to the technician. And at the bottom, you just said, where can I get... Well, where can I go if I need more crew for my ship? I would try to viewport. It'll be on your left once you get into the plaza. And that's exactly why I head to the viewport. Now, guys, your ship's probably going to be limited to one or two crew to start okay, off with. No but if I go ahead and modify my ship, you can see that on this ship alone, I can have 10 crew members. Just at the bottom of the stacks, it says 10 crew members. And the reason or how you get more crew members is every time you go ahead... Uh, sorry, I can't even put any more on this ship. Let me quickly just uh, go and delete something just so it lets me. If I go to what is the, the cockpits, the cockpits you can see on the left-hand side have two crew stations. Now, if I go across and I go to an engine, for instance, you can see crew capacity. So also, engines stack up to the amount of crew you're going to need as well. So looking at every single engine, you're going to need 0.25 crew per one. So if you've got four engines, then you're going to need one crew person for that, then four engines. So there's no point in putting one engine on or two engines on or, or three or four. You might as well, no, sorry, or three. You might as well go ahead and put the four on so you get that extra crew. This is how it works as well with the HAB. So you can see the HAB, they've got crew stations one. If some of these have got passenger slots. There's no point of even worrying about the passenger slots. This one's got one. This one's got four. Now the max that you can have is 10. So there's no point of even getting more than 10. But in this case, I just wanted the biggest goddamn ship in the whole of the galaxy. So I've gone ahead and uh, made it so. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to see inside my ship, obviously let me know in the comments down below and I'll do a video in it where I show you around the whole ship. And also reactors have one to two crew capacity on them. By having the largest reactor myself, that it's got a free crew capacity and this one's got free crew capacity and this one's actually lower down the list. This one actually is better because the power generated at the top where you see that blue light going up, this one's actually only minus four from the top, whereas this is minus five. So I would personally say go for, for this one over this one uh, just so you can get up them extra engine shields grabs and weapons the only reason i would uh, choose a different one is to try and reduce the mass because the less mass that you have uh, then, then obviously the faster your ship's going to go in terms of mobility so getting 100 mobility is going to make you move a little bit quicker i don't need that because the weapons i've got on this ship so why do i need to turn so fast because they're automated turrets but if you uh, are in a, a bit of a situation then go ahead and do that now guys if you did only have two engines a shield does give you 0.5 so two engines and a shield gives you one crew capacity as well so that is something that you could put into your fort and your weapons. Your weapons go ahead and give you 0.5 of a crew. So the more weapons you have, the more crew you have. Like I said before, as to my knowledge, the max crews you can have in the game right now is 10. And also, if you want to know how to double stack things and inter stack things in this game, let me know in the comments down below. You, you, you can see that I've got the, the metal bars inside there. That's so I could have this real nice top end face part. And I've also got from my uh, cockpit, I've got that engine inside of it. If you want to know how to do this, let me know in the comments down below and I'll make a video on that. Now let's get back to crew. Now that I've gone over the ship, let's go back to the viewport. The reason you go to the viewport because if you walk around and you actually look at people, they are all tagged up as citizens. So they're actual just, uh, well, they're all NPCs. Everyone in the game is an NPC. But they all appear as citizens. You can't actually have any general, general conversation with them. So this is why you want to head over to the viewport because in the viewport which is literally up the ramp to the left they've made it so people that have got a name typically are someone you can hire so if i come in here M energy weapon specialist and i speak me, to him you can, can see really the at work. the top right he's got energy weapon systems one star i'm not interested anyway in him but that is something where where you can do that you can talk to but everyone and you say? can see the stars is the grade you? four stars is max so it goes one two three and then four Four stars is max level. Um, in this case, she's got a rank two, which is she's good with weapons uh, at the end of the day. So she might be a good one to have as a crew. So when I get out on an island and I want to explore or there's enemies, she can come in with me and uh, shoot with me. And then I don't have to worry too much about dealing damage myself. Let's ask what skills she's got. Plenty. I'm comfortable on a ship, especially in the gunner seat. I'm also a trained expert with shotguns. I have the certification to prove it. Sure, why not? Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> I won't overcharge you. I'm grateful for the offer. I've been out of a job since I left the Freestar Rangers. Oh, that's pretty interesting. No, she, she was part of the Freestar Rangers. Oh, 18k she's going to cost. My lord. Yet again, we're always going to try and persuade and reduce that cost. Look at the smirk on her face. We're going to reduce that. You're we're going to try to. I'm going to just say that price too high and you know it. If you don't like it. 
find someone else to deal with. Oof. Yeah, I'm gonna go down. Who knows how long it's gonna be till you get another offer. I don't think I'm desperate or anything, but you do have a point. Hey, well, we got that. The last thing I want is you going bankrupt on my account. I'll work for whatever you can pay. Mm, we've just reduced it by half, guys. So getting your persuasion up is gonna reduce the crew cost. Let's do 9k. Thanks. I think we'll make a great team, huh? Well, that was great. Remember, people like this would be good to put onto your outpost because they've got good weapons. But in this case, I'm just going to put it on the ship. We have already got uh, ballistic weapons, missile weapons, and she's got particle beams. So it does help out. Uh, but it's just good for to have it around outposts Thanks and stuff. We just chance, keep it Captain. in mind. And it's not really that expensive, especially with the money glitch. Video at the end of this one. Okay, so there is some people in here that you can't interact with. And probably just as well because that hairstyle is not kicking it for me. Sorry if you've got the hairstyle, but yeah, no thanks. I'm going to go around and click on Any every single on one he's only got one in pistol so not interested can't talk right now sorry and then this guy at the end of the bar he looks pretty interesting he picked a good day to drop by bartender's making him strong today you in uh, town for business <laughs> he looks like a sniper overall you also know they're ranked by the top uh at the top right you can see there's a star the line over and then the wings let me go over to someone else but i go back over to this person that was sitting down whenever hey. it lets me interact okay now i can interact you can see at the top right the rank is only the circle with the diamond so the wings are the best there is higher ranks i'll see if i can get you an image to put it up drop by Bartender's making him strong today. Now let's have a conversation with him to see what he's about. Let's have a look. Official Constellation business. You're with Constellation? Damn, that's cool. I've always admired you guys. Exploring the stars full time seems like a dream come true. That seems like we have that in common. Personally, I'm here looking for work. I just quit my job as a weapon tester for Mars. Oh, a weapon tester for Mars. He might then unlock me new weapons that don't actually show in my things. So that might be really good. This uh, go down the Explorer, would you consider working for a discount? You get to see a lot of the galaxy. I really need this job. Sure. I'll cut you that deal. 6k, guys. We managed to get him down to 6k. Sounds Let's like do a fair it. salary for your new weapons expert. I'll take it. Putting him on the Conqueror. We're filling up this Conqueror, baby. So we got two shooters and we've got one ship specialist. I'll head straight to my post and get to work. Now we're not done. We need more crew members. How are we going to get more crew members? Well, let me show you. You're going to go ahead and get back on your ship. Like so. What are you doing sitting in my armory? Thanks for stopping to chat. They have gear, by the way, that you can trade, guys, if you uh, potentially want something. Normally, you could buy their clothes. Uh, it's not advisable to buy this clothes for my character. It looks a bit silly, but yeah. Just, you know, you could buy the clothes that they're wearing. So if you see a crew member that's wearing some cool soon, clothes, huh? which, once you've got them, you can actually buy theirs. It looks like this guy's ready to go to bed. Now I've come over to Simeon. I'm going to want him to come out into the world with me. So I'm going to go ahead and talk to him. I don't want his clothes, but just to show you that you I can buy his clothes. I can go ahead and buy his jacket and his hat. If you do want it, you can go ahead and do it. But remember, keep your eyes up for some real cool clothing that you see crew members wearing. That's the best way to get it. But the most important thing is I'd like you to follow me for a while. Now, I know this guy is a sniper. So if I get him to follow me... I'm right behind you, Captain. Then I know that I'm absolutely set if I... Uh, need anyone to take out enemies so that makes it so i have to do less on the planets you don't have to do this that's completely up to you that's my free crew member so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to head up into my cockpit and we're going to go quickly take off once you're in your seat go ahead and go to venus venus is in the solar system which is the old or what we know as our solar system head to venus i've already got a landing spot so it's just easy for me to hold x and just teleport straight there or fly we'll just say fly you want to go ahead and get back into your ship asap look at the ass of this ship my lord go ahead and get in but i'm gonna go straight to the cockpit because that's where my bed is you want to go to the nearest place where you've got a waiting place in this case I, straight into the cockpit i don't have to go to the bed because i've actually got chairs in here so i'm uh, i'd only go to the bed if i'm missing health and that way when you go to sleep in the bed you restore max to back to full health as he is with me now following me he's gonna chill everywhere i go so as i'm in the cockpit he's gonna find himself nice and comfy on a chair real close so it's, it's pretty cool rather than them just standing behind you like watching your every move they go ahead and do things like that so let me just take a seat anyway as well once i'm in the seat i can go ahead and hit wait and wait local hours which is 24 but it's actually 2400 hours in universal time this is why we go to venus because you can wait for the longest even though it's the exact same time as everywhere else the universal time is is massively increased it's the best way to reset everything i.e 
crew members in the viewpoint. Once you've done waiting, go ahead and get up and get back into that cockpit seat. You don't actually have to get into the cockpit seat. You can literally go ahead and press start, click on the map, and you want to go all the way back to New Atlantis, which is heading down to the Alpha Centauri. Click into that again and go straight over to Jenison. Once at Jenison, you just want to go and land where the... Uh, not the commercial district or anything else you want to head straight to whatever lets you land just in new atlantis jemison once you're landed to confirm that the time has reset just for the unlimited glitch guys you know you go over to here say you want to modify something and you can see at the top right he's got 72k in his stash again so you can go ahead and do the money glitch which is going to be a video at the end of this uh, but if not go ahead and go back to the viewpoint and go and talk to some new crew members so now we've entered we only have one new crew member this time so I believe this is a citizen. It won't let me interact. Definitely a citizen. We have got this lady here. Damage control specialist. So let's talk to her. Like She's got starship engineering at level one. Not exactly what I need because I've already got my own starship leveling at... Or oh, starship... Yeah, it's... Sorry. Starship engineering at level one. Wait, do I? No, I don't. So I don't have my Starship Engineering at rank 1. So guys, obviously, yet again, like I said, if you don't have these, by having someone who has it, you get all the abilities, all the perks of having that person. Uh, so if I want Starship Engineering at 1, it might actually help. It's not going to. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go and reset the time again and get some more people. As you can see, this guy's Astrodynamic Specialist. He's got one star. I'm not bothered. I'm going to go ahead and reset and see who else we get. So, Rentnin, have we got any new people? We've still Excuse got... Oh, a payload specialist. You have room for one more on so, your now crew? she has a payload. We don't want that. We don't want the level ones. We want level twos and threes. So this time, it reset only one person. But, guys, honestly, all I can recommend is keep doing that until you get the people you want. Or head to new planets and always head to their bar. And in the bar, you will find even more crew members. So, you've got Neon, Aquila, and much more. Guys, like, follow, comment, subscribe. I hope this helped, and I'll see you in the next one.